If I fix this past, I'll get another soul fragment. Let's get this slaughter shell on the road. Sounds like a real great flick. But don't say any more, or I'll get sued. Huh? Let's get this slaughter show on the road. <gasps> what a goddamn pain. Come on, just die already.
everywhere. So gross. If you want, old Papa can point out his favorite bathing area. Oh, that's terrifying. Pass. Don't be so selfish. What do we have here? A talking bird? I hate you! This... Hey, where are you going? Oh no, they're fighting. Who are you people? Who? Us? We're nice. No stranger danger here. Was the bird that flew away your little sister? Yes. We had a fight. So, um, would you like us to help you find her? Do you mean it? Thank you. That's very kind of you. Oh my. You gotta give that what's it there the business if you want to keep going forward. So dizzy. I see. So that is a warp. Why are there buildings over there? Another dead end? Oh ho! Take a closer look. I'm thinking we can get across if we lower the bridge. Shall I fly over and take a look? Please! I do it myself, but my poor back isn't what it used to be. <laughs> You're just lazy. Please, be careful. Don't worry. If I just follow these girders... Huh? here.
If I pull this... It worked. Yay! Wow! We can keep going now. Look at this bridge. Maybe the cage is still under construction? I'm glad you made it across. Me too. You did good, little bird. How many times has the sun risen and fallen since Thief and Princess first met? How many times has he ventured into the palace to spin for her another tale of his exploits? One day, he tells of an instrument which speaks. Another day, a spring of gold within a jar. But no matter the tale, and no matter how skillful the telling, the princess never smiles. And then, one day, the princess remains as emotionless as always. Yet as the thief turns to leave, she slowly approaches him. Her voice is delicate silk, her words hesitant. The thief's heart leaps when he hears her speak for the first time. Before he leaves, he swears to her this, I shall make you smile on the morrow. His first visit to the palace had been for devilish reasons. But after many days and nights, he now finds himself genuinely wishing to see the princess smile. This is most unlike me, he laughs at himself as he heads back into the city. We ready here or what? Don't let him.
More of you come to die? After leaving the palace, he steals an apple from the market to fill his empty stomach. As he sets off for home, his gaze turns to the starry night sky above. When he reaches a puddle, he halts and stares at the reflection of the majesty above him. It contains unfathomable depths, as though a hole has fallen open in the fairy world itself. Though disturbed by the vanished puddle, the thief walks on. A fortune teller calls to him from a stall blanketed in a black canopy. She is dressed in a mystical manner, almost as if clad in night itself. The crystal ball on the table shimmers like the stars. As she raises her hands to the orb, a look of concern settles over her face. Death awaits if you continue to see the princess. The thief bursts out laughing at the fortune. A future is something I take for myself. He is a thief. He has spent his whole life stealing whatever he likes. Money, food, even lives. And why does he want the princess's smile? Because a future was once stolen from him. For you see, there was once a smile he was unable to reclaim. Hey, so that bird in there, that was me. It was broken, so I fixed it. You've been a huge help so far. Thank you. Still, is that boy really going to die if he keeps seeing the princess? Hey, even fortune tellers get it wrong sometimes. I bet he's fine. Yeah.